work injury in New York State? Here's what to do. If you've suffered a work injury here in New York State, then you're entitled to workers' compensation benefits to help pay for your medical treatment and any lost wages. Yes, you. It doesn't matter if you're the only employee in the company, if you get paid cash under the table, or if you're an undocumented immigrant. If you got injured on the job here in New York State, then you are likely eligible to receive workers' compensation benefits. And while your boss or company might say that they'll take care of you, the smart move is to keep your options open just in case they suddenly change their mind. But how? By filing a workers' compensation claim. In my 17 years as a workers' comp lawyer, I can't tell you how many times I've had somebody contact me because their boss suddenly decided they didn't want to pay for their medical treatment or lost time anymore. And in many cases, the deadline to file a workers' comp claim had already expired, which meant that there was nothing we could do to get them the benefits that they needed. Don't put yourself in that position. At the very least, take the steps necessary to protect your workers' comp benefits so that they're there when you need them. The first thing to do after a work injury is to get treated by a doctor. You don't need to worry about the cost because workers' comp will cover it. And if it's an emergency, please just go to the hospital immediately. Otherwise, make sure you find a doctor who's familiar with the workers' compensation system and get treated by them. This not only puts you on the path to recovery, but also properly documents your accident and your injury. I'll include a link in the description below where you can find a good doctor if you don't already have one. Next, you'll want to make sure you've properly notified your employer within 30 days of the accident or injury. Proper notice is required by law, so this will protect your right to file a workers' compensation compensation claim after that 30-day period. To submit notice, just send your boss a message or an email with the date, time, and location of the accident, along with a description of what happened and the injuries you suffered. I always recommend filling out and submitting a copy of the New York State Workers' Compensation Claim Form called a C3 to the board and sending a copy to your employer or supervisor directly. If your boss was already notified about your accident on the day it happened, there should be no need to also send written notice. But if you're within the first 30 days, it doesn't hurt. After you give notice, you'll want to file your workers' compensation claim as soon as possible. Technically, you'll have a up to two years after your accident to file your claim, but you should do so as early as possible if you want your claim to be taken seriously. Why? Because the longer you wait, the less injured you might seem in the eyes of the insurance company or the judge. So do it as early as you can. And rest assured that if your employer has said that they'll take care of you, there's no need to actively pursue your workers' compensation claim once you've filed it. But make sure you file the case. You could just let it sit there while your boss pays your salary and medical expenses. And if down the road they suddenly decide to stop, your workers' compensation case is valid and waiting for you. The next thing you want to do is to collect evidence every step of the way in order to protect your benefits in case they get denied. Even if your workers' compensation claim is initially accepted, some part of the claim might eventually be challenged by the insurance company. So it's important to keep records of everything relating to your injury and claim. Some examples of important evidence include video and photos of your injury and accident, medical records, documentary evidence like invoices and receipts, incident reports, and witness statements. Now, all of that might sound simple, but it's actually much more complicated than I just explained, especially if you have a serious injury. If your case or any portion of your claim is being denied, you will have to oppose the insurance carrier. These huge companies have teams of people dedicated to reducing your benefits. That's why one of the most important things you can do is to contact a workers' compensation lawyer as early as possible in your claim. A workers' comp lawyer understands the complex system here in New York and can protect your benefits at every turn. And unlike other lawyers, you don't pay a workers' compensation lawyer upfront out of your pocket. That means you can get one right now and have them start advising you for nothing. And if in the end they don't need to do any work to help you get more benefits, then you never have to pay them a dime. My name is Rex Sikowski and I became a New York workers' compensation lawyer 17 years ago after getting injured on the job. If you've suffered a work-related accident here in New York State and you would like a free consultation with an experienced lawyer who can help you protect your workers' compensation benefits, please give me a call at 212-406-8989. I'll be happy to answer any questions about your case and can explain what you should do to get all the benefits that you're entitled to. And if you want to learn more about New York workers' compensation benefits, be sure to watch my other video, How Much Does Workers' Comp Pay in New York? In it, I explain how workers' compensation benefits are calculated and give you some tips to maximize the amount that you receive. I'll include a link to that video here. Click to watch it now and I'll see you there.